in part two, we're back. Bring the bacon. Chick-fil-A. But are they good enough to beat Popeye's new sandwich, which we both found amazing? Granted, I'm just going to throw this out there, not good enough to fight people over. Let's find out if they're good enough and worth it to go to Chick-fil-A over um, Popeye's. Like, which one's better? I mean, that's the whole point of this. And we're also doing the original first out of this one, too, just so that... Mm. This is a simple chicken sandwich mm -hmm. with pickle. Aw, they checked to see if it was done for me. <laughs> oh, it's falling apart. No, it's tender. <laughs> um... But of course, well, this doesn't have a lot of sauce or anything on it. I mean, it, 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 it's it's a simple chicken it. sandwich. Uh, the buns are toasted a little bit. Looks like a, a little bit of pickle juice and grease from the chickens moistened right. it. Uh, it would have been so much better with a little mayonnaise, though. Yes, I do agree with that. Yeah, a little mayonnaise. Chick Fil A, put mayonnaise on your sandwiches. That's what I asked for it. They should do that regularly. I mean, but then again, a lot of people don't like mayonnaise. Exactly. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to remember next time. Hmm. It's good though. Chicken's good. Not as thick though. No. Hmm. It's more manageable. Yeah, it is manageable. But I mean, you look at the differences, and it come out to the same price. Really? Like within cents of each other. Mm. So I mean, you go to Popeyes. You're going to be getting something that thick. You go to Chick-fil-A, you're getting something that thick for the same price. But, it's Chick-fil-A. Because their fries you get are amazing. So are Popeyes. You don't get the waffle fries at Popeyes, do you? Good point. Waffle fries are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's enough of that one. Let's move on to the spicy. And... The audio kind of sucks right now. I did get a uh, set of microphones, but I, but in the process of hanging up TVs in my house, I misplaced them. They're in the bedroom somewhere because <laughs> we took. I had to take a shelf down to hang a TV up, and in the process, I set them somewhere. And I can't remember where. I, I can't remember where I set them. Yes. Duly noted that if you was to get a spicy and an original sandwich, the spicy comes in the red package. Just throwing that out there. Oh, he's already got his out. <laughs> he's ready to go. <laughs> I'm like you said before. I'm not a fan of spicy stuff, but I'm so, eager to try new things. So. No sauce on this one's. Uh, well, no, no sauce. Uh, it's just the same as the other one, except it looks a little darker, maybe. It's all the seasonings, I think. So. Just, well, let's just see how spicy it is, just with seasonings. Hmm. Okay, there it is. There it is. A little rumble in the back of the throat. Yeah. But, it's got like a sweet heat to it, though. Yeah. I think it's probably because of the bun, too. Yeah, it, it, it's a sweet bun. Yeah. And sweet as in sweet, not sweet, dude. <laughs> uh, it bounces out, though, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I bit off the thick, thinner end. Let me uh, take another bite and get a pickle in it, because the pickles were in the center. Can I make a statement that it could be like on one of those change my mind memes? Mm. Popeye's chicken or uh, pickles are better. Yeah, I'll go with that. Popeye's pickles are better. They're thicker, mm -hmm. too, and you taste them a lot more. Like I bit into this and I tasted the chicken long before I ever tasted the pickle. And right. I mean, granted, that's good. You still end up tasting it, but mm. I, I feel like I want that flavor profile at the beginning. Right. Mm. But I will go to say. Chick fil A's chicken is a lot more tender than Popeyes. And 
they have this benefit of they have never used antibiotics or they won't ever use antibiotics. I think I think the sign out there says no antibiotics ever. Hmm. So if for all you that says in the bag. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh for all you people out there and I'm not saying anything bad. I, I mean, I'm kind of leaning more toward no antibiotics now yeah. in the days of that we live in where everybody seems to be sick. Um, not referring to the coronavirus, just allergies <laughs> and infections. But um, the less antibiotics we intake, whether it be through the foods we eat or in real life, I feel like it makes a difference in how our health ends up. Yes. So um, that is a bonus from eating Chick-fil-A. It's a spiciness. It's, I don't know this Popeyes. It hits you hard and then leaves. Yes. This is a roaring heat that kind of just stays. It lingers. But it hard. doesn't get it doesn't get so hot you can't stand it. It's just there. Yeah. And the more I talk, it makes it worse. I guess all the hot air escaping my head. <laughs> uh, but uh, is it better than Popeyes flavor wise? Spicy, see, spicy see, words. Uh, just spicy, spicy first. Well, see. I'm biased. You've had you've had Chick Fil A Chick-fil-A long before. Yes, I had never had Chick Fil A uh, before, and I will say I'm actually impressed because being as they're a chain restaurant with chicken, I figured it'd be bland like all the other right. chicken restaurants. Um, but I'm actually impressed with it. And upcoming, I know you don't know about this yet. We're going to do a nugget comparison video. We're going to go around to all the restaurants that sell chicken nuggets and do a taste test of each one and and rank them to see which one is well, one. You know, Chick-fil-A has really good chicken nuggets. I'm just going to tell you right now. <clears throat> and I may even go ahead and, and splurge a little bit and get the unbreaded ones, too. Mm-hmm. So it'd be chicken nuggets, literally. Yeah. But what would you actually rate it? Rate uh, it yeah, we didn't do the rating. Uh, the Popeyes, I heard not the Popeyes. Uh, Chick Fil A spicy. Um, I'll give it a solid three and a half to four. Um, out of five. Yeah. I'm leaning for spicy stuff. I'm definitely leaning towards about four. Okay. Yeah. Um, the original. I personally am going to rate it a three to three and a half, but simply because I prefer mayonnaise. Right. Well, see, that's, but that's just a personal preference. I'm not holding that against Chick Fil A. That's just my preference as of a person. You can rate it whatever you right. want. Well, see, I was thinking about at least a three. As well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least a three. Mayonnaise would have definitely hit it off a bit better. Yeah. Um, now Popeyes. Let's do their spicy first. Well, let's let's rate their classic first. Let's classic. flip it, flip it around. Uh, I bet you would give it at least a, a four. On their classic. Mm-hmm. Four, four and a half, roughly. Yeah. Uh, really well, of course. I'm, I'm not tasting good. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I agree with that. Four, four and a half. Now, the spicy, I'm going solid four and a half. Yeah. But, the sauce really hit it off. Yeah, that really sauce good. is amazing. It, it, really, it was really good. Uh, four and a half, maybe four and three quarters. <laughs> going to round it up pretty good. Let's, let's say... Uh, <laughs> Four and five eighths. Let's just do that. <laughs> Four and nine sixteenths. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, yeah, <laughs> but really, good. I mean, it's that Chick-fil-A precise. And Popeyes are definitely like they're neck and neck on yeah, this one. So uh, if like, I would honestly say that if it had this had mayonnaise on it, the spicy or the regular, oh, yeah. on, on a Chick Fil A, it would have easily put it up there exactly right where they're at yes. with Popeyes. But we could have. <laughs> Because they want to try. Chick Fil A tries to go above and beyond for their customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they may not even charge me if I would have added mayonnaise. They might not have. I, I don't know. I mean, but nonetheless, I did not get mayonnaise, so it's my fault. So, hmm. <laughs> Hang on. I'm doing something here. You swapping buns? Nope. What is it easier for swap buns? No, because I, I want the same bun. Because that's oh. they use a different bun. I rub mayonnaise on this. Both spicy. 
Well, no, no, I used the mayonnaise on the original because the, the spicy has a different sauce. Yeah, that's yeah, better. I know that was probably the dumbest thing I've ever done, but you know. We gotta improvise. Yeah, yeah. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Exactly. Um, <laughs> four, four and a half. Yeah. Um, so they're neck and neck. Which one's better? Hmm. That is to be determined by yourself. Everyone yes. has their own opinion. Since they opinion. are so close, since they are so close to us in flavor, I feel like Chick-fil-A, where they do theirs more with seasonings, can be a little pungent. Yes. But, and it needs a sauce. So that is a little downfall to them, and we're just trying to lay out the facts for you guys because they're so close to us. We want you to tell us how you feel about each sandwich, um, if you've had them before, and if you're not, I encourage you to go get them, try them. They're not incredibly expensive. No, I bought four sandwiches at each place, or we got four sandwiches at each place. I should say that, um, and it was sixteen dollars roundabout. At each place. Yeah. So, it's your choice. I mean, go try it. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the ringy ding bell so you know when we post a new video. And just a quick disclaimer, I know some of y'all don't really know how YouTube works. Subscribing does not mean you pay us. It does not cost you anything. It just lets you know when we upload new things. So you can be sure to tune in every episode. Like I said, thank y'all for watching. God, God bless. Peace. Love y'all. <laughs>